for that congressional baseball game in Washington. Democrats and Republicans hoping to set an example tonight as we now learn new details about the congressman in critical condition. Here's ABC's Mary Bruce. Lawmakers turned ball players. It's be a big night. Arriving ready for the big game. Steve Scalise, this hat's for you. Many in LSU hats, a tribute to the player not on the field. Second baseman, Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. Tonight, hospitalized in critical condition. Shot down when a barrage of gunfire <laughs> tore through the Republicans' final practice. Overnight, the president visiting him at the hospital, telling reporters today Scalise is in tough shape. He's in some trouble, but he's a great fighter and he's going to be okay, we hope. This morning, a third surgery for the congressman. The bullet that hit his hip injured his internal organs, fracturing bones and causing severe bleeding. Tonight, his team taking to the field and a surprise on the pitcher's mound. Capitol Police agent David Bailey wounded protecting so many in yesterday's shooting, throwing out the first pitch. And the two teams kneeling at second base in honor of Scalise, reminding us of their unity and friendly competition. We want to beat those guys and they want to beat us and afterwards we're going to give each other a hug and drink beer together. Hugs and beer a little later. Mary Bruce joins us from Nationals Park in Washington. And Mary Congressman Steve Scalise, of course, on everyone's mind tonight. And he's not the only victim still recovering in the hospital. David, still hospitalized tonight in good condition. Capitol Police Officer Crystal Griner and Matt Micah, a former staffer, one of the coaches of the Republican team, he remains in serious condition. Both of them very much on the minds of lawmakers as they play here tonight. David. Some promising images coming in already. Mary, our thanks to you.